Hi, can you hear me? Oh, great. Okay, so I'll just give it a few more minutes to see if anybody else jumps on and then I'm going to make a start. I just need to adjust my stand. So just close your eyes if you feel sick because I'm just going to move this around. Hi Cynthia, hi Bonnie. Oh, sorry guys. I'm just gonna plug out my phone and plug this one in because my other one's on low. So, the file that I downloaded from Canvas is on my USB stick, which is in this machine. So I'm just gonna show you that and then I'm gonna move it round um, because I'm at a funny angle here. So I'm gonna go into Retrieve Pattern going to go into the USB stick and I'm going to try and find this file. Okay, Spring Flower Trifold Card and this is the file that's free in Canvas Online. And when you download the whole file, it's in three mats. Now I've already cut one to save some time. I've cut the base card and the leaves, which I'll show you in a minute. And then there are two more mats and I'm going to cut all this and assemble it. So I'm just going to call up the second mat and then I'm just going to move you back so I can see the comments and then we'll start cutting. So just hang on while I move you back. Okay, so for anybody that doesn't know, this is the project. Let me catch up and see what you're saying. Um, Diane, just watching on the big telly. Patty, Westfield, USA, hi. Diane Cross just jumped on. Kathy B, hi everyone, hi. Hi all, Wendy. Right, okay, so. Show you what I've done so far. So let me just move that out of the way. The first of the three mats is the base card and the leaves. So that's what I've done so far, just to save some time. The second of the mat is the start of the flowers. So basically what I did, I went into the file the other day and I just had a look to see what size card I need. So I'm just going to position, I can't remember what I need, but 
Um, I did have, where's my picture? Uh, Diane, I was looking at the project and thinking of making it. It's so perfect. Oh, great. Well, let's see how we go. Okay, so I think I need... I think I possibly need two shades of yellow and some white. But I don't know if I'm going to get all this on. So let's move this around and see. And then I think these, from memory, I've cut for the next mat. So I'll just get this cut in and then I'll catch up with what you're all saying. Okay, so I'm just going to do a background scan to position all these shapes. Right, let's see what's going on. Um, Wendy. You did the bouquet card. Was that the one we made the other week? Okay, I'm just going to position these shapes onto each of these cards and I'm hoping I've got enough I don't know if this piece the dark pink piece is big enough we'll soon find out Might be a bit tight and just get it cutting and see. I'm going to flip them two around. Right, let me just get this cutting and then I'll catch up with what you're all saying. because we've got two mats worth to cut. Right, let's see what people are saying. Um, Sue Lakin, hi everyone, just about made it. Being on a Zentangle course for the day and now this, what a fab Sunday. Oh fab, where was, where was the Zentangle course? getting some glare I've just put the lights on Yasmina hello oh junction 30 off m1 crafters companion oh okay it's that 29 Chesterfield isn't it so Okay. I think I've moved my camera angle and I'm not so sure it's it's at the right angle. But I don't want to move it all now in case I make you all sick. Oh at a garden centre. Alright, okay. What's everybody else been up to? Well, 
Let me find the bouquet card one minute while this is putting. Was it this one, Wendy? Patty H crafting most of the day. Fun. Hi, Susan. So Yasmina, this was last week's project. Kathy B, you did one of them. Oh, great. Right, let's, this is nearly finished. We just need to get the next one and then can try and work out how to put all this together. Juanita, hi from California. You're welcome. Which one have you downloaded, Hazel? The bouquet or the one we're doing today, the trifold? Heather Radford, the, this project, oh right, the trifold, okay, the one we're doing today. Um, Heather, this is from Canvas, it's a free project. This was last week's live and the one we're doing today is also from Canvas and that's a free project. to move my camera guys but I'd just give me one minute is that giving us any more room I think this is taking a bit longer than normal to cut because I've got several flowers on this mat size of the card I'm doing today I'll show you it's about 11 and an eighth and high six and three quarters Finished size when it's folded, I'll tell you if you remind me once I start assembling it. You've done yours in red and yellow, fab. So this particular one you don't need a lot of card for. It's mostly kind of scraps, um, but the three biggest pieces I would say are about six by six maximum, and then the rest is, is scrap. I've not watched the video I've printed the picture off so that I can try and see how this one gets put together
So what I'll do, I'll unload this, I'll load the next one, get it going, and then I'll start assembling and see to save a bit of time. So let me see if there's anything I've missed in the comments, if anyone's asked me anything. Someone's just got in from work, Kathy B. Did I miss that before? Will I use taper glue? Probably this glue. And maybe some dimensionals, we'll see. But certainly a wet glue. I would think you should be able to make an envelope for this card. We'll see how big it is when, when it's when it's finished. Uh, MJ, yes, the project is from Canvas Workspace Online and it's free. That's why I've been doing the projects. I've been picking projects from Canvas that are free so that they're accessible to everybody. There's quite a few flowers here, that's why it's taking its time. So has anybody already made this project? Apart from Kathy B. any comments so I don't know whether I've lost you or not. Wendy you've not but you've downloaded it. Okay well hopefully if this one goes together okay it will um, show you how to assemble it. MJ, you've not done this one, but you've done the Easter cake topper. Okay, and did that turn out okay? Okay, right, let's get this one unloaded and we can get the next one cutting. on one side, load up the map and then we can work out how these all go together. And then I'll catch up with the um, comments in a minute.
so there seems to be quite a lot of elements to this one. I'm just going to turn my mat over and try and get these off because these look a bit more detailed. And I've added a bit of um, adhesive to my mat today, so it's a bit sticky. Right, where are we up to what people saying? I can't get over how quiet the machine is compared. Yeah, definitely. It's a lot quieter. Get all these bits out. Just, oh, I've got the white ones to get off. Um, so this is what we've got. There's not as many on the next mat, so this is the bulk of the work. So I'm just going to scrape all these bits off and then I'll catch up with what you're all saying. Right, so these are my next scraps. So I'm just going to load up the next um, mat. So I'm just going back into the machine and retrieving my file. And the only reason I'm not moving is because I don't want to keep flipping the camera backwards and forwards. I can't remember what colour I need to cut these in. Right, the butterflies in blue, I know that. And then I've got three lots of card and I can't remember what colours I'm meant to be using. I think I need to look on canvas. Hi Ellen. Has anybody got access to canvas online that they can just go and have a look and see what colour the third mat is? I can't remember which way around these are. I think they're white and yellow. Maybe we'll just go with that. Right, I'm just going to guess. background scan again. I know the blue piece is for the butterfly. Right, let me catch up with comments. Um, Diane Cross, you've been crocheting some flowers to use for embellishment, so you might add a couple of these. Yep. What have I got here? White. I think they need to be on the white. Just give me one minute. I know the butterflies need to be on the blue. I 
think these need to be yellow. keep selecting the wrong ones. Just give me one minute. Right, I think <coughs> excuse me. Right, I'm gonna set this off and see what happens. <coughs> and then I'm gonna catch up with what you're saying. Patty H, yes, yellow and white, perfect. Um, white left hand flower, blue butterfly, yellow for the others, perfect, thank you. I thought it was looking at the size of the card I'd cut, but I just got a bit confused because I cut them last week actually, when I said we were gonna do this one this week. Right, so I've got... Um, Juanita, I have the DX125 and scraping off the paper bits seems loud now. <laughs> uh, what's Charmaine saying? I vote that brother offers an upgrade. What do you want an upgrade for? Yeah, that's right, Nikki, but I didn't print all the PDF off. I just printed part of it off. <coughs> right, so what we'll do... Well, that one's cutting. I'll do this one and see what, what happens here. So... These all appear to be the same size, apart from that one. So that one I think goes here. This one goes here. I'm just working off the picture. <coughs> and then one of these goes here by the look of it, and the other one goes down here. So I'm going to stick these on, and then I'll see what you're all saying. Um, Charmaine, from the CM900 to the one, one of the quiet machines worked with an auto, Oh, I see what you mean. You think this should offer you an upgrade to change? I don't know. Would be nice if they did, wouldn't it? But... Let's 
see what we've got here. So I think we need one of these. Let's just get these off here. Where's my spatula? So we've got a butterfly. At least we've got all the bits now anyway, so. The rest should be easy. Seems to have an awful lot of flowers though, don't we? everybody else saying I view mine on my iPad or laptop it's easier than printing good idea basically I looked at this last week and I printed off this page I looked at each mat on screen in color so I knew what size card and that's as far as I've got and I've not looked at it all week so some of these are tiny but we've got all the parts I may not use them all might have to improvise just going to move that out of the way Right, so I think it, let's have a look how it folds. I think it folds that way and then back on itself. going to look like that can you see and then we just need to assemble all these flowers <laughs> deary me so Trying to work out which ones go on which. These seem to have a small one behind them. Oh my lord. Start with a big one. They seem to layer up, don't they? That doesn't go behind there. Oh my days, I'm... Right. Let's see. 
we need one, two, two big ones. I'm just, just going to layer them up how I think. I think maybe that one. Okay, so these go inside. No, that's not right. Right, I'm going to just stick. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I am the guinea pig, you're right. But unfortunately, I've not printed off the vital bit that shows you how to assemble them all. So I'm just going to guess. So I'm going to put that on there. Put that one on there. And we need the yellow one. I think goes in the middle with one of the smaller ones. I'm going to put this one on a, a mini dimensional. And then I'm going to put, have you got a tiny one? Put that in the middle. Right, so that's one. Where's the other one? That one, I think, goes... Right. There you go with them, I think. I'm going to put this. This is probably not how they're meant to be assembled, but this is how they're getting assembled. I think we're going to end up with several left over. Look at the little white ones. No, right, let's do this. Right, what we're saying. Brave or foolish. Right, the white ones. Okay. these layer up then you need the yellow ones in the middle and then you got these tiny tiny ones I am Susan Definitely going rogue. Oh. Sticking to my fingers. Okay. So this is going to be the same. We could end up with a lot left over here.
<laughs> Thanks, Sue. Not so sure about that. Just some of these are so tiny. You can't even get the glue on it. Some go on the back. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, but presumably we need to assemble them all, don't we? Now, I've got this and this. Still got these. Will they go on there? Right, that's going on there. What, that it can cut so small? Yeah. And then, does this have a white one? I'm gonna put that on there. Yeah, tweezers definitely would. And then these yellow ones seem to go in the middle. I've got glue stuck to my fingers now. Put that on there, yeah? And then I'm going to put one of these. tiny ones okay where do these go that's just I'm gonna put that on there I think does that fit on there or does that go on there do this couldn't we let's see oh, I think that goes on the back of there and you see the white through it What she put? Nothing like being put on the spot. <laughs> um, don't think that goes behind there. Right, what are we left with? I'm going to put... Yeah, right, here we go. So these, you see the colour from behind. Then these go on, I think, in the middle. And then these little ones. Actually, I could use these my little Take me pick tool. Right, I think we we I think we're nearly done. I'm gonna see if I can get a little tiny. Right, where are we up to? Hi Christine. Right, what have we got there? So we've got these left. Which ones go on the back? So one of these bigger ones and the yellow ones are ah, right, okay, with it, these layer up on here now. That goes on there. I'm going to 
going to put one of them on there. And then the tiniest, tiny one in the middle. Um, right, let me catch up with what you're saying. I think there is no right or wrong way to assemble these. They look great the way they are. Yeah, I think, I mean, there is a guide, isn't there? But obviously I've not, I've not printed it off. So, um, so we've got that go behind let's see if that fits in there no that doesn't fit in there I think I'm just gonna do it my own way I may have to I've got a yellow one left should we put a yellow one in the middle And if all else fails, I've got some pearls or stick pearls in the middle. And I don't think that's going to go in there, is it? That doesn't go in there, so we might have to forget that one. I've got a yellow one. I'll put that in the middle. And then there's a tiny one. somewhere along the way I've missed out what we do with that one but hey ho so let's move all the rubbish out of the way so two go on the back so I'm thinking this one and this one catch up with what people are saying are you doing these live tutorials every week um i can't commit to them every week um i was meant to be being busy today but what hannah and i were going to got cancelled so that's why i'm here i'm gonna try but i don't know whether i can so i'd rather not say so that I don't, um, you know, let anybody down. Right, I'm going to put this here. And we need one of these. I'm going to put that one there. going to stick this one down flat are you going to give this a go is anybody going to give it a go I might not use all these flowers we'll see so this is the Okay, this is going to go You are Wendy, great Nancy, you're doing it now, brilliant Hope it turns out better than this one Right, when someone was asking before about the glue, I'm using both, okay? Let me just make sure you can't see. Okay, so I'm going to position that. So that one's empty. 
this one is going to go down here and then the butterflies go in somewhere okay the butterflies go on there so we've got i think i'll put that one there mother's day project would be brilliant yeah good idea um Right, let's have a look. So that's how it's looking so far. So I suppose you've got places to write there. I'm wondering whether to put that on the back of there. I think I will. Diane, you're going to do it tomorrow. Brilliant. You just have to be mindful where you, that one I'm going to have to move. Just take this off again. You know, because of the fold. So let me just put that so it's not on the fold. Just bend that one now. So let's see. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So now we need. I'm not going to use that one. So the big one seems to go down here and the small one goes up here. Okay. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue there. And then we'll see how big it is when it's finished. Now this seems to stick on this bit here. So I'm going to have to hold that for a few minutes and then I can see what people are. Uh, um, I had to resize it so I can use eight and a half by 11. Um, okay, I got this out of UK A4, but having said that, that's eight and an eighth by 11 and three quarters, isn't it? So yeah, possibly. And then this seems to go here. But yeah, you could just take on the first mat, because that's where the card is, you could just take the size slightly down and it don't, wouldn't matter about the flowers, would it? it just the base card. Right, I'm going to put this, I think I'll put it on the edge of the flower. Um, I'm trying to imagine putting it in an envelope. I'm thinking I might put it there. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right there, Ellen. Just have to hope that nobody compares side by side. Right, let me move all this rubbish out of the way. So closed, I'm going to put some pearls on, I think. Let's see how tall it is. I mean, you could move the butterfly down. It's about seven and a half, but you could always move that down to get it in a five by seven envelope because it would easily fit. Let me see. The widest point's going to be from here to here, isn't it? And five is there. So it would fit in a five by seven. That's all right, Kathy, don't worry. So yeah, five by seven, it should fit. So who was saying about the envelope punch board earlier on?
if we put some pearls in the middle, I think that'll bling it up a bit, won't it? Yeah, as I say, just be mindful where you put those, but it should fit in a five by seven. Hi, Paul. All right, I think we'll just do a couple more and then So, is there any other project in Canvas that anybody wants me to do? Have you seen anything? Right, can you all see this? So oh. it opens like that. You can write your greeting here. Let me move that out of the way. And then on the back, it's got a couple so that when it's folded up, it looks like that. You could also write on here. I'm trying to find my envelope punch board to see if you can do a five by seven. Um, yeah, five by seven needs a nine and a half by nine and a half, or five by seven and a half needs ten by ten. So, yeah, it's quite flower heavy, isn't it? You're going to make it brilliant. Yeah, definitely Christmas cards with different shapes. Totally agree. Once you've got the base, you could put anything on it, couldn't you? Got glue on my fingers. You could ink the leaves, definitely. Yeah, I just don't have time. But yeah, definitely, I think I would, just to give them a bit of definition. Shall we see if we can do an envelope quickly? size did I say it was? Five by seven. Seven and a half. Hi Miss Ronnie. There's a five and a half by seven and a half that needs ten and a half square. An envelope. Okay, we'll try that. Um, it's on the first page of Canvas Workspace Online. It's one of the new projects. Right, 
What size did I say we needed? Ten and a half by ten and a half. Yeah, Ellen, just go to the home page when you log in and it's on there. Right, so it says um, five and a half by seven and a half. You need ten and a half by ten and a half and you score at four and a half. Okay. for ages so this will probably turn out wrong as well does that mean you score at four and a half once or would you score at four and a half every time must be once mustn't it can't see my score line up with your comments in a minute can't find it this might not fit so <clears throat> looks vaguely rectangular saying Sue Lakin does the left hand butterfly wing fold over if so does that bring the measurement down to seven inches when I put it on I was kind of mindful that it's stayed within this side of the card I mean you could position them anywhere couldn't you just to make it fit this going to fit? Wow, let's see. old machine and I'm wondering if it would cut plastic sheet if so how thick do you think it could manage it which model is it no the top one okay well on the diagram it shows it's being stuck to this part of the card so Kathy, I've already done that one. The Mother's Day pop-up card. That was done a couple of weeks ago. So this is five and a half by seven and a half. And the paper was ten and a half by ten and a half scored on the four and a half. I know it doesn't necessarily match, but <laughs> Kathy, 
Cassie B. What about it? Yeah, I've done that one. Cassie B. On Canvas Workplace. What do you mean, Cathy? I'm not sure what you mean. Just going to have me drink. Still not sure what you mean though, Cathy. I've done the one that's on Canvas Workspace, the Mother's Day pop-up. I did that a couple of weeks ago. Have I missed any questions? Thanks, Patty. So come on, who's going to try it? Who's going to give it a go? Ellen, you are? Um, Alan Webster, right, the model's the CM600. It depends how thick, there is a deep cut blade, but it depends how thick, you, you know, you're gonna try and go through. It would probably have to go through in several passes, but if you could tell me a bit more about what the exact material is. Paul's on here, he does a lot of cutting. He might have more of an idea as well. Kathy, thank you. Ellen, you're definitely going to try it now. Brilliant. Have I made the Love Story lampshade? Ooh. No, I don't know what that is. I'll go and have a look later. MJ, thank you. So obviously, they all come with a PDF. If you print the PDF off, then you'd know exactly how all these flowers go together. So mine was a little bit of an ad lib, wasn't it? But, you know, it looks okay. I'm trying to find out who asked about the envelope. And if you're still on here. So Hazel's saying she's made the Love Story lampshade and it's beautiful. I don't remember seeing it. I'm going to have to go and have a look now. Might try that one then in the next one if it looks good. Patty, you asked about the envelope. Okay. So you know the size now, five and a half by seven and a half. Cut your, put your paper at ten and a half square and score on the four and a half inch. Yeah, I would say on the 600, it depends what you're cutting. In theory, you're supposed to be able to go up to two milli with the deep cut blade, as far as I'm aware. With this machine, the SDX or the DX machine, you can go up to three milli, but you do need to cut in several passes. You'll not go through in one pass. You'll just either break a, a blade or damage your machine. Kathy B, the Mother's Day card. If it's the pop-up one, I've not got it here. If it's the pop-up one, I've already done that.
mermaid cushion cover I've not seen that one either okay I'll go and have a look in fact I'll write them down hang on so we've got the mermaid cushion cover and what was the other one a lampshade Need to find what you said now about the other one. Love story lampshade. Okay. Okay, a rare well modeler and use about one millimeter slater's plastic card. Don't know what that is, to be fair. You could try it. But like Paul said, you're going to need to do several passes. Um, I don't think it would go through all in one go. And you may need the deep cut blade. <laughs> Any other suggestions for the next project? Juanita, I'm making the card holders for my son's wedding and I've been using the We Are Memory Keepers foil pen. They're coming out nice. Oh, is it nice? Is that the quill pen? I've not got that yet. I keep debating whether to buy it. And then I go, and, I go, I went to buy it the other week and then couldn't make my mind up whether I needed it, so I didn't. I'll go and have a look at the lampshade and see what it's all about. So when you've been using the foil pen, have you been using the standard nib? Because there's three different sizes, aren't there? The quill pen, that's it, yeah. Because you can buy the quill pen separately, can't you? Or you can buy them as a pack of three. Is it with like standard, medium and thick or something? And I don't know how much use I'd get from them, so I, that's why I was debating. They only had the three pack, and I thought, no, I won't bother. I might buy an individual one. You're using the smallest of the three, okay. Okay, so what's Paul saying about the plastic card? You will need the deep cut blade and several passes on a low pressure. Yeah, okay. Uh, Nancy, I have the quill pen too, it works great, and you like the medium one best, okay. Okay, Alan, so hopefully that, that has helped. If you've not got the deep cut blade, it may be worth investing in one. Kathy B, yes it is. That's the one. Okay, Kathy B, so I've already definitely done that. Um, this, the video will probably be on my website. Nancy, I've got the piercing tool. I'll, in fact, I've got some projects here. Let me show you these. So this, have I frozen? Okay, I'm back now. Perfect. It was the battery. So this was done, not sure how well you're going to see this. This has been done with the piercing tool. Can you see that? He 
here's another one. This has all been pierced and the flower. Hang on a minute. I'll quickly show it you. It's basically a holder and two two thicknesses and then you get a special mat that's um, padded and you can pierce and cut on the same mat. Maybe that could be a project. And I had something else but I don't know if I can find it. Hang on. These were all basic shapes that I pierced. Can you see those? <laughs> Patty, sorry. Yeah, I've got the calligraphy as well and This is what I've been doing with the calligraphy over the weekend. And I did this one. Just doing some inspirational quotes. And I had something else to show you, but I can't, um, can't find it. I don't know what I've done with it. No, can't find it, so don't know. Yeah, to be fair, this is the calligraphy pen and it just looks like the universal pen holder. but the cradle is slightly different. And this is the kit and it's quite expensive. And I don't think, personally, I don't know how much use you'd get for, from it. Yeah, I know, um, Independent Scan and Cutter, I was just trying it out, just playing with it. I know they're not the fonts for this. Um, yeah, I think you will have to invest in the deep cut blade if it's that kind of media that you want to cut. Right, I'll add that one Easter pop-up card. I'll add that to my list. And I'll go and have a look and see what they're all about. So I think my phone battery is, is um, about to die. So if there are no more questions, I think we'll... Um, call this one a day. Unless anybody's got anything they want to ask me. Which cards? These ones, Miss Ronnie? These are simple. This is a simple star from the machine pierced and then I added some flowers. This one I made in canvas workspace. I've shown how to do shape cards before and I just um, pierced the flower and the number. Nancy you're welcome. 
and then obviously this is today's. Thank you, Susan. Okay, so hopefully it'll be recorded and anybody that's missed it can go back and watch it. Thanks, Ellen. Thanks, Hazel. Thanks, Independent Scan and Cutter. And I'll go and have a look at these projects and see. Thanks, Ms. Ronnie. Juanita, you're welcome. Thanks, Paul. Oh, by the way, Paul, I got the package. Um, I forgot to message you, but I have got it. Thank you very much. It's brilliant. Thanks, Patty. Denise, thank you. Okay, so I'm going to say goodbye and I'm going to go and have a look at these three projects and then see. Thank you, Susan, you're welcome. Thanks, Ms. Ronnie, and you. Keep safe, everybody. And I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.